guys, Lizard Lee here for probably just puzzles, to be honest. Um, it's raining outside really badly. It's storming, so the lighting is horrible, and I refuse to work on black fabric when I can't freaking see it. Uh, I finished Companion Cube yesterday, yay. Um, I almost slept in this morning. I was so tired, but... No, I got up. <laughs> I, I'm declaring today a pajama day because it's horrible outside. And I do feel better compared to yesterday, but my throat is still sore. So I'm just going to work on puzzles all day. <laughs> um, the only ones left are Wizard of Creation, which I like, except for the wizard's face because the wizard's face just creeps me the fuck out. Like, look at that face. Why the hell would anybody want to put that on a puzzle with all these amazing colors and unicorns in the sky and like, why would you want to ruin such a cool looking piece? I don't, um, okay, I'm going to do these, my least favorite to my favorite, sailing ships. This one is actually really cool. So the only ones here that I didn't like were Blackbeard because I don't give a crap about pirates. And then that creepy wizard face. Arctic wolves. All right, I love the Aurora Borealis, and I love wolves, and I love snow, so that's just amazing. And my favorite, dragon spit. Look at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I think I can finish all four today. Oh god, I shouldn't quote myself with that. <laughs> I I believe in myself. Uh, these are the bigger ones, so I won't be able to do them on my desk. I'll do them on my bed. So I'm probably going to move the webcam to right here, and it'll be facing that way. So, I mean, I can show you right now what the view is. Look at my pearl. Hey, Taj. How you doing, baby? Mm. Hi. You sleepy? You're sleepy. <laughs> So, I'm watching uh, Game of Thrones Season 3, Episode 9, The Reigns of Kashmir. I, I think that's how it's pronounced. I don't remember. I just know this episode has The Red Wedding, and I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, yeah. I'd record my reaction, but... Seeing as my reaction is going to be, oh, I remember that. Ooh. Like, the only thing that, like, really gets me in movies is, like, someone getting their throat slit or their wrists. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> um, which episode, which one was it? Um, Nightmare on Elm Street 3. One of the first, uh, because it, it wasn't, it, yeah, it was a nightmare. The girl, in her nightmare, you know, Freddy was, like, controlling her kitchen sink. Or, no, not her kitchen sink, her bathroom sink. And cut her wrist. And then her mom walks in, and she's in the bathroom, slitting her own wrist with a razor. And you see, like, driven in, and that gets me. And then, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it is, is it three? Or is it four? I want to say it's three. Uh, one of my least favorite kills, like... The, the the kill that bothers me the most is the very first one from episode, from from the first uh, movie, which is the girl that gets dragged across the ceiling. Um, that was the scene that gave me nightmares when I was in third grade, so I couldn't sleep for like a week. And then the next one that bothers me the most is in the third one. It's the the puppet guy, and uh, he gets his nerves ripped out from like here all the way to his wrist, and then and then on his feet too, and he's like. Puppet walked off of... So, <laughs> that one just... Yeah. Um, oh, oh, anyways, in the Red Wedding, the mom gets her throat slit. And I've seen that, and it looks realistic, and it's just... Yeah, bothers me. And it's not the blood. It's the fact that, you know, these are like... You get these cut, and you're like... There's a high chance you are not going to live... So, I'm just saying, it's, it bugs me. It's, yeah. 
Like, I don't like other people touching my neck and my wrist. So just seeing, you know, someone else get cut, like, mm, I'm not cool with that. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to watch this and I'm going to get ready to do some puzzles. And of course, before I even actually started the puzzle, Tessa wanted to get involved. And uh, I can't tell her no. And she's just too cute when she wants to play with the paper. And then with the puzzles. And she just, she's so cute. Oh my goodness. She actually was there a long time while I was puzzling. Putting the puzzle together. I don't know. Is there a verb for like to puzzle? Because <laughs> all I think of is like being puzzled and confused. Which doesn't work. But um. So here I'm watching The Reigns of Castamere or whatever it's called, the, the episode of Game of Thrones that has the Red Wedding. And I think I actually included my dialogue of it afterwards, but it's funny. You can watch me as I'm going. <laughs> Look at the faces I make when Tessa offends me. <laughs> um, but there was one character, like, when they were killed, they just, like, plopped right over. So I took my hand and I, I imitated it because I thought it was hilarious. Um, and, yeah, I just... I talked a little bit, so the narration will be cut short. I'm not sure when. It looks like it'll be in a little bit, but we'll see. Uh, anyways, so you won't see it yet, but just so everybody knows in the future when it does happen, there's going to be a uh, an extreme change in the lighting because my sister needed to be taken to the hospital. She was feeling really sick and she's pregnant, so you know, I didn't want to take any chances. And uh, you know, obviously I just stopped everything, changed and went. And then I came home with my nephew and I put my pajama bottoms back on, but I kept on the new shirt. So, <laughs> you know, whatever. It's just more comfortable when you're lying down or anything. It's more comfy in my pajama bottoms than it is in jeans. Uh, so you'll see him in a, later in the video. He's adorable. Um, oh, that when the one I was holding was of the wolves, and that was when the dire wolf got killed. That one was the most upsetting to me because I love the dire wolves. They're so cool. They're so pretty. They're awesome. So it's really sad when, you know, they go. I'm so horrible being more upset over the loss of an animal than a ton of humans. But, you know, that's how it is. Oh, oh, okay, this is where I slow it down, because it just ended. I Right here? All right. You got to see my reaction to the wed wed red wedding. The wed wedding. The red wedding. I'm sure it was just as exciting as when other people weren't expecting it. Because I was. <laughs> I just, like... You know, there were only... There was only one character I was actually attached to in that scene, and that was the mom. I didn't care about Rob. I definitely didn't care about his wife. And actually, no, I was the most upset over the dire wolf because it was a dire wolf and those things are awesome. Otherwise, I didn't give a crap. Like, I didn't know, I didn't give a crap about the other people with them, so I felt bad for Arya. <laughs> and that's how it goes. You know, the Red Wedding. <laughs> I'm such a horrible person. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. These characters died. That's the end. But they were only characters, so you can only judge me so much. I will say, on almost every single puzzle I do, I start with the border. But the second puzzle I did, I actually started with like the huge red blimp because those colors were only in that one spot. So it was really easy to put it together. And then the border... So much of it was the same shade of green. It would have. It was really hard. So it was actually one of the last things I did. So you know, that's you'll see that in a bit. Uh, okay, what questions was I on? So I, are you short tempered? That one I answered. So this next one, instead of like bolding it to make it look different, it it looks the exact same as everything else. Same font, same size, everything. Great conversation starters for guys. So I'm assuming this is for guys to ask girls. Okay. Do you like your independence or do you want to have the big wedding, husband, puppy, and kids? I don't want to have a big wedding. I actually want to have a really small one and I only want family and friends. I don't want a single person that I or my husband don't know because that 
I, I know I don't want a big extravagant wedding. Like I don't want peacocks. I don't want elephants. And honestly, if the colors are like silver and blue, I'm happy. If they're pink and gray, I'm happy. I'm not going to like nitpick and be like, oh, you got me like pink lilac. I wanted pink strawberry. Like I don't even, I don't know colors. All right. Like I'm like a guy when that comes up like oh look that's green oh look that's dark green oh look it's light green other people are like oh no it's forest green and lime green I, I, I don't know I don't care they're they're colors okay like whatever <laughs> um so that part no I do want a husband I don't want a puppy I'm allergic to cats and dogs but my allergies to dogs are worse than the, the ones I have to cats and currently I don't want kids so, like, I want my independence, but I also want a husband. So, I don't know how to answer that question properly. <laughs> are you in touch with friends from school, college? Yes, I am. How close are you? Megan is my best friend. We met my second year of college, and I graduated after five years, and we're still best friends. So, I'd say we're pretty dang close. Ever won the lottery? No. Do you believe in soulmates? I do. But I will say a lot of people think I'm crazy. I believe you. everybody has more than one soulmate. Um, I do believe, like, it, it's kind of similar to, you know, like, dying of heartbreak. You know, like, like when your grandma loses your grandfather and she passes away a few days later. You know, you, you'll say that she died because, you know, he was the last one she had to live for or whatever. And I think in a way, you know, that... They were soulmates, and I don't think the only way to know if someone is your soulmate is to, like, you can't live without them. I, that sounds like Romeo and Juliet bullcrap to me. <laughs> I think if you get along with someone really, really well, you know, like, you'll be talking with someone else, and you'll, re you'll be reminded of someone else, and, you know, a conversation you had with them, and it'll make you really happy, and you'll think about them, and you'll want to call them, you know, you'll want to continue hanging out with them. I think they're your soulmate. Megan and I, we've joked, or, I mean, we're, we're not really joking, but, you know, other people uh, take it that way and whatever. We've said that we're soulmates. Like, we get along so well. I mean... I, I, you know, I relate to her in ways I can't relate to anybody else because we have so much in common and it's just, it's great. And I think my mom is one of my soulmates. Tess is one of my soulmates. I think it's possible to have more than one because if you only have one and you lose them really early on, like how depressing is that? You know, like I, I don't think soulmates is strictly a romantic thing. I, I think it's. You know, you can be soulmates with numerous people and animals and all that. So, that's my opinion. You're more than welcome to disagree with me. That's fine. I just, I mean, you know, there are people who don't believe in soulmates. And I believe you can have more than one. So, yeah. Have you kissed anyone in the last week? Uh, Tessa. <laughs> Do you think that pregnancy and birth process are important? Yeah. Wait, there are people who think pregnancy isn't important? What? I don't, what? Don't even. Uh, describe any accident you have seen or heard about. At, well, I don't, there was, well, no, because it wasn't technically a car accident. I had been there for like a while. My mom and I, we were driving to um, Little America in Wyoming, Utah. I don't remember which states it, it, it's in. But uh, there's also rocks that when you drive at a certain angle, they look like kissing Indians. So maybe you'll be able to figure it out from there, what what state it's in. But uh, we were driving to Little America, and there was a, a trailer truck on the side of the road. And the trailer had just been dented in, in the middle, like from the top. So it looked like, you know, like the Hulk just came in smashed it after he jumped on it like it was insane and the best part my mom and I both looked at it and then we were like wicked <laughs> and I mean have you guys ever heard me use that word I my mom and I we never use that word but we both said it at the exact same time it was so funny oh and it had been on the side of the road for a while like it was clearly abandoned I don't know what the hell happened but it was crazy 
And uh, another thing that doesn't really count as an accident, but I think is interesting, was a uh, one of my first times in the states. We were driving home, and I saw a guy running and a police officer running after him. And I was just like, "Ooh, what's this guy doing? This is bad!" And you know, there was a ton of traffic, so like there were you know civilians everywhere. This cop got behind the guy. You know, they're both running. Jumped up. And like need him in the back, and the guy just crashed down, and the cop had his arms behind his back, like boom, it was crazy. And I mean, you know, maybe some people will say now that that's excessive force, but he didn't shoot the guy, so I'm I'm fully supportive of that. Like, <laughs> the guy clearly doesn't have you know incredibly fragile bones if he can run away that that bad or whatever. Uh, are you old fashioned? Uh, in some ways, uh, in some ways I'm not, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Ever had a one night stand? No. Uh, favorite teacher? Probably Miss Jones from high school. She was great. Any contraction of diseases? N no, all the ones, or was a, the only disease I am aware of that I have I was born with, so I didn't contract it from something. Uh, how do you feel about cigarette smoking? I want to take that person's cigarette and jab it in their eyeball. Do you think that women and med men should receive equal pay for equal work? Yes, I do. I think it's really stupid that a woman can do just as much work as a man, the exact same quality, and she earns like, what is it, 82 cents for every dollar a man earns or something? It's bullshit is what it is, all right? Like, just because she has a vagina, suddenly that means she can't work as well as him. Like, that's so stupid. Have you ever dyed your hair? Uh, yes. In middle school, I wanted blonde hair, but my hair was so dark that it only went to, like, a light brown. And then in high school, my senior year, I dyed it uh, temporarily black. And all the people my age loved it. Every, like, all my teachers and, you know, all the adults I spoke to thought I looked better with my natural hair color. And I was like, okay, you know, that means as I get older, you know, these people will also get older and they'll probably feel the same way these adults do. So I, when, when it ran out, I didn't dye it back. Uh, have you ever made fun of your friends behind their back? Duh, everyone's made fun of their friends behind their back. I've also made fun of my friends in front of their faces, like... <laughs> I know I do and say stupid things. You're more than welcome to make fun of me. I'm fine with it. Uh, how many friends do you have? Uh, you know, I, in my communications class, I remember learning that there was kind of a rule of you can only have 150 friends at a time because once you have more than that, you know, it, it's extremely difficult to keep in contact with him. And so then you can't really call them friends. They're more like acquaintances that you used to be friends with at that point. So generally on my Facebook, I go through it and if someone has deleted their account, I delete them. And uh, if there's someone that I like never talk to, I'll delete them. So usually I have around 150-ish friends on Facebook. Lately I haven't cared as much. I'll just let the number go up, but I don't even think I've hit 200. I just, I don't add people willy-nilly. I only add people if I genuinely consider them a friend and I can see myself in the future wanting to hang out and talk with them. So you guys are more than welcome to try and add me on Facebook, but I won't add you. I just, I'm sorry. That's not how I roll. I want my personal Facebook to remain personal. And I want my Facebook page with Lizard Lee to be what's associated with cross-stitching. So, you know, if you message me on my, my account, my Elizabeth Facebook, I may not respond. You should message me on my Lizard Lee. Especially since if we're not friends on Facebook and you message me at my Elizabeth one, uh, a lot of times I don't get notified about it. So I don't see it for like months. So just saying. Uh, do you consider yourself a neat or messy person? A neat person. Uh, do you like to travel by plane as opposed to car? Not really. I, I mean, if I could travel by car and go, you know, from the U.S. to Japan in the same amount of time as it would on a plane, I would rather take the car. But obviously, that's never going to happen. So, have you ever posed as a nude model? No, I have not. Do you think people should eat the fish they catch or just let them go? 
Now, this is something I haven't actually done a lot of, like, actually any research on. Certain fish hooks, don't they, like, completely split the fish's lip? Like, can they heal from that? Because if they're just going to go down there and, like, be unable to eat or unable to heal, I'd rather you just kill them then and there. But uh, if you're not going to eat it or, you know, like, use their skin or, or whatever it is that, you know, that you, you're fishing them for, if you're not going to use that, let it, let it go. Um, I think it's a complete waste to kill an animal if you're not actually going to utilize its parts. Like, I, I think that's just stupid. I think it's brutal, and I, I think it's wrong. You shouldn't just kill to kill. You should kill for a purpose, and you shouldn't kill animals that are endangered because I don't want any more animals to go extinct, okay? Like, I would have loved to have seen a dodo bird, okay? That would have been awesome. <laughs> uh, ever had a crush on a guy? Oh, oh, is this the one that was that I was complaining about, that it said ever had a crush on a girl? Now, now it gets to ever had a crush on a guy? Duh, that's stupid. These questions, ugh. Uh, generally, in life, what makes you happy? Family, friends, cats, dogs, cross-stitching, puzzles, smiles, giggles, happy things. <laughs> At the beach, would you rather play in the sand or play in the water? Well, see, that's hard because I'm not a very strong swimmer, so if I'm in the water, usually I'm not, like, swimming around, and then I have really sensitive eyes, so I don't like splashing around. And once I get water in my eyes, like, my eyes turn, you know, like, beet red, and I'm just in pain. And also, in the water, uh, the sunscreen comes off very easily, and uh, as you can see with how pale I am, I get burnt very easily. But... There's only so much you can do in the sand. I, I mean, like, if you don't have, you know, like, a, a volleyball net or something, you know, if you're only in the sand and only in the water, uh, you know, you can, like, bury your friends and give them mermaid tails and shells on their boobs, but I don't know. I haven't done that in years. I don't know if it'd be as fun as it was when I was younger. Maybe. I don't know. Do you know your birth story? Oh, you mean about how my mom was in pain, talked to the doctor, and they were like, yeah, we're going to have to do an emergency C-section because your daughter's suffocating to death with her umbilical cord? Because I, I know that story. <laughs> like, you know, I actually didn't realize this until a few years ago. A C-section, when they have that, they have to actually pull out, like, several of the woman's organs because... The uterus isn't in the front, you know, like where the belly button is. And obviously they can't go through your back because if they damage your spine, you could be paralyzed for life and that would be horrible. So like some doctor somewhere, maybe even more than one, has held my mom's insides. Like that's crazy to me. What? Oh, see, there was the lighting change and now I'm in my, my blue shirt. My nephew's walking around. We were watching what, Pokemon, I think it was, the the fifth movie with the heroes, Latios and Latias. He's so funny. Um, describe your fighting song, your fighting style, drunken master or angry monkey. Uh, I'm not really much of a fighter, so neither. I'd rather, like, fight with my wits than get into a fist fight. Like, I'm 5'2". <laughs> There's not much I can do. And even if I could, I'd rather not solve my problems with violence. Ever had a drunken night in Mexico? No, but if I had, that'd be that'd be pretty cool because I could say I've been to Mexico. <laughs> have you ever fired a gun? Yes, I have. I've fired several. And I have to say, every time I've had a girl tell me, like, oh, yeah, you know, like, I was... I wasn't your typical stupid girly girl growing up. I didn't play with Barbies. I broke them. I cut their hair. I turned... You know, I set them on fire. I wanted to slap them every single time I've heard a girl say that because I played with Barbies growing up and I also played with Tonka trucks in the dirt. I also played with Legos. Like, I wasn't a typical girly girl because I played with Barbies, 
but I have fired several guns, and I think that makes me a bit more of a badass than someone who set their Barbie doll on fire and wasted their parents' money. Yeah, sorry, that's all I think of when someone is like, oh yeah, you know, I ruined my Barbies. Man, if I have a kid and they do that, they are not ever going to get another toy like that. Like, hell no. I'm not going to give you toys just for you to freaking break them. Uh-uh. <laughs> Look at him. He keeps moving around. <laughs> uh, what makes one a failure? If you give up before you try at least twice. I think that's when it becomes a failure. Uh, well, I mean, certain things. Obviously, you know, there are some things you won't want to try twice. I don't know. That's actually, that's really hard. A failure. I guess someone that just completely gives up. And you just, you have no more will to try. That's when it's a failure. Because, you know, if you, if you take a break and you try and find another way to solve the problem, that's a success. Yeah, you know, you may not have gotten to the, the original solution you imagined, but you still tried. I think that's what's important. Uh, best places you have ever been. Japan, Australia, and just Europe in general. I, just, I love all of Europe. <laughs> uh, have you ever been rejected by a crush? Kind of. I My freshman year of high school, I wanted to go to homecoming. And I had a crush on one of the guys who rode my bus with me. Uh, he actually he went to a different high school. Uh, what happened was our bus route went to his high school and then to mine. And then on the way home, they picked up everyone at my high school and then went to his and I mean, we talked all the time, you know, every morning, every afternoon. And one of my friends was like, you know, hey, do you want to go with Liz to homecoming? Because I had said it before that I was thinking of asking him. And he he kind of, he was just like, no, I, you know, I'm good. I don't want to go. I don't I don't do dances. And uh, I was really upset about it. But I ended up hanging out with another guy on said bus at my homecoming and he later became my boyfriend so you know it, it wasn't a complete loss but uh i learned uh, a couple years later that that guy who had rejected me had a huge crush on me and thought it was a joke so <laughs> yeah oh yeah yeah does size matter Is this where I say, uh, no, it's how you use it? Because I have to say, my actual, my first thought was, uh, like, height. Like, I wasn't actually thinking of, like, size. <laughs> I was just like, well, no, like, you know, I think your personality is so much more important than if you're taller than me or not. <laughs> I will admit, I have a preference for guys that are taller than me. And since I am 5'2", Almost every guy is taller than me, <laughs> but, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, are you a risk taker? Sometimes it depends. You know, like, if the, uh, if the risk reward is greater than the risk loss, I'm not sure what the word I'm looking for is, then I will. But if I go for the risk and I lose and it's just, it's so bad that it's not worth it, then no, I'm not. <laughs> Do you have any major medical conditions I should know about? I have asthma. Do you like partying, attending parties, giving parties? Not really. Um, I, I don't really drink. And usually, you know, I'm 24 now. I almost said 23. You know, people 20 or well, actually 18 and older, all they want to do is drink. And that's just not my scene. So... Yeah, I like I'll joke and tell people, you know, like, oh yeah, <sighs> I'll record your, your, you know, your, your drunken idiocies, and then I'll put it on YouTube for the world to see, and it'll, it'll be hilarious. And then anytime I, I'm around drunk people, I just want to like shoot myself because it's not fun at all. Like, they make fools of themselves, and it's just it's so disgusting. <laughs> it is not for me. It's not my thing. I'm sorry. Uh, how do you feel if I walk into the bathroom when you are in the middle of using the facilities? Okay, so 
is this actually like in my own personal bathroom? Because I always lock the door, so that won't happen. If you unlock it and you come in, I'll scream at you because you're a freaking dirty pervert. Ew, what's wrong with you? <laughs> and uh, I don't have like a shy bladder like some people. So if I'm in a public restroom and, you know, I'm the only one in there and then someone else comes in, I'm not going to be like, oh, I have to wait until they leave. Like, I'm whatever. I'm like, whatever. I have to pee. I don't care. <laughs> Explain why you last threw up. The last time I threw up, I was sick, so. What is your zodiac sign? I'm a Sagittarius, so I'm a half man, half horse archer. It's great. <laughs> Ever been in the Mile High Club? No. Do you believe in horoscopes? No. I think they're complete nutter bullshit. <laughs> like, have any of you guys seen the, the show Bullshit by uh, Penn and Teller? They did one on horoscopes once, and it was it was great. A teacher was doing an experiment. They passed out, you know, a, a generic horoscope to everybody. And he said, you know, don't discuss it. Don't read it out loud. Read it quietly to yourself. And then I'm going to have some questions afterwards. So when it was done, he was like, okay, I want you guys to answer honestly. You know, like, don't worry about being judged or anything. You're, there's no wrong answer. How many of you feel that, you know, that what was written is true? Like... 80% of the class raised their hands, or I saw this like a, a few years ago, so I could be remembering wrong, but a lot of people raised their hands and there were a few that didn't. And he asked, you know, one of the girls or somebody, you know, can you read it out loud? And they read it out loud and everybody was like, wait a minute, that's, that's what mine says. Or, oh no, that's what it was. The, the girl, he asked one of the girls, uh, he, he you know, why do you feel that it doesn't, uh, apply to you and she said that it was really generic and it kept going back and forth on what it said and he's like okay can you read it out loud and that's when everyone was like wait a minute that's what mine said and then they were discussing how you know like yeah they say this but they also say this and it's just really contradictory and you know it's doing its best to kind of umbrella everybody so that it can apply to everyone and then Penn and Teller came in and she's like, oh my god, am I on bullshit? I love this show. It was great. So yeah, like, if you read a horoscope, like, don't pay attention to the signs. Just read one of them and see if it applies to you. Because usually they do. Most people that read them and, you know, take them really seriously, only read their own and only pay attention to their own when it comes to themselves. <sighs> They'll read someone else's and do their best to, you know, apply it to them. But they don't actually think about it and go, oh, wait a minute. This could apply to me just as easily as my own. So it's just stupid. Uh, besides your family, who has influenced your thinking most? Why and in what ways? I've already talked about my teachers plenty. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing about them. Um, favorite thing to spend money on? Cross-stitching and my cat. <laughs> do you think that you're a good person? I think I am. Do you like to try new things? I do, uh, whether it be like a new activity or new food. I am an extremely picky eater, so, you know, I, I may only eat one bite of something, but I will try anything. I, you know, like, I, I don't like mustard, but if you put if you put mustard on something and you want me to try it, I will be willing to try it. I'm not that picky that I'm completely unwilling. But if you put if you put sushi in front of me, I won't try it. I've already tried that shit and it's nasty. There is no way you can give me raw fish and have me like it. I'm sorry, no. Unless tuna and shrimp are well, no, because I don't eat shrimp. I I eat shrimp cooked and shri and breaded. Tuna, uh, isn't that cooked at one point and then it's canned? I don't know. If tuna is uh, considered raw. I guess I will eat raw tuna. I don't know. <laughs> I am aware that tuna is a fish and not chicken, so at least I have that on my side. <laughs> uh, do you have college plans? Already graduated, baby. Are you tired right now? Yes, I am. I am exhausted. I had a really long day. I'm ready to go to bed. I still have quite a ways to go in the video, so woo. Uh, have you ever been caught stealing? I've only stolen one thing in my life, and my dad found out about it a little while after. So, no? I, I mean, I guess it doesn't say caught in the act of stealing. I don't know. I've never stolen since, so whatever. 
Do you consider yourself to be religious? Not really. I, I have beliefs, but I wouldn't call myself religious. Do you remember your dreams? Yes, I do very vividly. Um, actually, the dream I had last night, I was, I, I don't remember if I knew the people in my dream, like personally, or if only my dream self knew them. You know, like maybe one of my friends could, maybe one of them was Megan, or maybe it was just people that I knew in my dream. I, I'm not sure on that. I don't remember. But we were all going around this like, crazy it wasn't necessarily an obstacle course it was just this huge area like several different buildings we were all going through looking for tickets and i found one and uh it wasn't until i found the ticket that i realized why we were looking for them they had money on them or like like uh, amounts of money on them and the one i had was like 83 cents and i was like wow you know like is it even worth it to bring this back oh we all get back, and I'm the last person to go. Everybody else gives theirs, and it looks like they have a ton of money, but they barely get anything. And I give them my 83 cent one, and I won more than like a million dollars. I think I had closer to three million. So I was just bouncing around like, I'm a millionaire. Oh my God, I'm a millionaire. I woke up, and I was almost like, you know, jumping around in the bed because, like, I was so excited in my dream that it transferred to reality. It was great. So, you know, in my dreams, I was a millionaire and it was extremely disappointing waking up and realizing, no, I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> Are you a morning or night person? I am a morning person. Biggest mistake you've made. Ah, uh, that's hard. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. What's the biggest mistake I've made. I don't know, because that's hard. <laughs> I don't know. I can't think right now. I'm too tired. Uh, are you married? No, I'm not. Do you believe that what comes around goes around? I like to believe that it does, but no. I also don't believe in karma, because there are plenty of bad people who, you know, do mean, horrible things, and they're successful and happy. So, no. I I wish, but no. Do you have a MySpace? Uh, I do. I mean, I haven't been on it in years. Like, the last time I checked it out, it had become, like, a huge music thing, and they deleted all the information from my profile. I actually cried over that because I had, like, six years worth of conversations between my friends pasted onto my Facebook page or my, my MySpace homepage or whatever it was called and all of that was lost and uh, so I was really upset about that. Uh, I was able to get my pictures from MySpace at least but yeah I don't know what the hell they did like I guess they were trying to get away from Facebook because obviously Facebook did better than them but when I want music, I go on YouTube, so, yeah. Are you an art person or a sport person? I'm an art person. Are you outgoing, or do you keep to yourself most of the time? If I'm in my room, I keep to myself most of the time, but if I'm outside, I'm really outgoing. <laughs> Have you ever ridden in an ambulance? No, I haven't. Have you ever been tested for STDs? Uh, well... I guess when I went for my birth control, they took my, they did a blood test to make sure everything was cool. I don't know if that also was testing for STDs or not. I, I don't know. I do remember they had a guy come over and it was his first time taking blood and it was my first time giving blood. So, you know, I was a bit nervous because I've had some people tell me that it really hurts and they felt faint afterwards. And I was just like, okay, you know. I have no problem with needles. I don't like watching them go in, but I can watch them come out. You know, I can watch them, you, you know, push the lever, trigger, or whatever, or in this case, pull it. Uh, so he he stuck the needle in me, pulled it out, stuck it again, and then he realized he was not getting the vein. An older woman came over and did it and gave me, you know, that cotton pad. I put it on there. I got home later and I was like, man, my arm is so sore. 
I took the cotton pad off and I had a huge bruise on my arm. It was so painful. And I was just like, ah, oh, that's what happens when they miss. <laughs> so, you know, that was, that was great. Uh, do you smile with your teeth when getting your picture taken? Most of the time I do, yeah. Do you like to dance? I do. <sighs> do you sleep with the TV on? Uh, not very often. Uh, I used to when I was younger. And then I had a button that was, you know, like, sleep in 30 minutes. And each time you push it, it would go up 30 more minutes. And usually I would set it for like an hour. But... I don't remember the last time I fell asleep with the TV on. Have you ever worn a guy's briefs? No, I haven't. I've done guys' laundry before, and uh, I'm not so sure I want to be wearing their undies. Just, just saying. Have you ever had a true one-night stand? No, and I don't really ever plan to. Do you still talk to any of your exes? Not regularly, but I have a couple of them on Facebook, so, you know. Do you have a reoccurring dream? What happens in it? I've already talked about recurring dreams. Are you usually late, early, or right on time? I'm usually early. Uh, it makes me extremely uncomfortable to be late. And being right on time, I feel like I might as well be late. <laughs> Are you cheap or thrifty? I'm both. I'm cheap, but I can be thrifty. <laughs> Do you believe that everyone in a household should participate in household chores? Uh, I think everyone should clean up after themselves. So everyone should do their own damn chores. I don't like cleaning up after other people. Like, no. Nope. Like, I'll clean up after my brother. I'll clean up after my mom. That's about it. Everybody else, clean up after yourselves. <laughs> do you wear a lot of jewelry? No. Ever been in a physical fight? If yes, how many and who were they with? Man, the last physical fight I can really think of was in Germany. I was in second grade, and I was actually hanging out with my friend Alicia Fike. She was the one who introduced me to Sailor Moon. So, you know, who to that? Uh, we were at the playground, and it was one of the wooden ones. And she had Beanie Babies or something. I don't remember exactly what the toy was, but I think they were Beanie Babies. And a kid came over, a boy... And he took Alicia's and he started making fun of her and he wouldn't give it back. So I got really mad at him and I ended up kicking him in the balls. Like at the time, I didn't, you know, realize that I'd kicked him in the balls and how much that probably hurt him. But I was just like, you know, he's picking up my friend and he won't back the hell off. And he ended up going and crying to his dad. And he came back like 10 minutes later with his dad. And he looked right at me and said it wasn't me. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know if he told his dad that I was actually a boy and he didn't. And, you know, like, after the pain went away, he realized that he was the douchebag. And if I told the truth, he'd probably get in more trouble. But I don't know. I just, uh-uh, uh-uh. You don't pull that crap with me. You don't pick on my friends, buddy. Hell no. There was another time, I think it was actually with the same toy, we were at the same play playground, because it was the one right behind my house, so we went to it all the time, and two boys took one of the toys, and or maybe we only had one, but uh, they were like playing monkey with it, with Alicia in the middle trying to get it, and... They were, they were like three years older than us, so, you know, they were way taller, way bigger, and they were boys, so... I was like, yeah, I really gotta go pee. I'll be right back. And they were like, is that really what you're doing? Or are you going to get your dad? I was like, no, I have to go to the bathroom. Like, I really, I really have to go to the bathroom. So I went, and of course I got my dad. He came back, and my dad was so fucking pissed. Because, you know, these, these middle schoolers were picking on elementary school girls. And... My dad came over, and he was just like, you give them their toy back right now. And if I ever see you here again, I will whoop your asses. I never saw them again. <laughs> like, uh -uh. Oh, man. I, oh, I can't stand people who pick on others like that. It just, it's bullshit. And 
I'm so glad my dad was like a foot taller than them because <laughs> it was great. Are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Do you think dance with a boy in a nightclub is cheating? Do I think dancing with a boy in a nightclub is cheating? Um, I think it depends on the kind of dancing. Like, I imagine if it's in a nightclub, it's going to be, like, grinding. And I think that's bordering on cheating. I, I definitely wouldn't do it personally, because, you know, if I'm going to a nightclub with the purpose of dancing with a guy, I'm going to want to dance with my boyfriend, you know, not some random guy. That just That's just not me. Do you like VH1? Dude, I haven't seen VH1 in ages. I, I used to. I, I don't know. Uh, do you consider yourself a happy person because you've met me? I don't... Oh, I hate some of these questions because they're like that. Do you have a nickname? Yes, I do. What is it? Liz. <laughs> Ever had an imaginary friend as a child? Uh, not that I recall. It was never really a thing for me. Ever gotten ultimate revenge on someone? Well, I, I guess those two stories, that, that worked for revenge. Ultimate revenge? Not really. I, I'm i more of a forgive and forget person. Like, or, well, at least forgive, because I just, it's not worth it to be angry with someone, because at that point, if you, you know, if you hate someone with your whole being, all you're doing is hurting yourself. You know, forgive them, never talk to them again, and never worry about them again. And you know, you'll be great. It's people like that are not worth your time. And I think it's detrimental to just your entire being and your health to hold a grudge and to be angry against someone and to want revenge. Just, you know, just drop it. Never let them be in a position where they can do something again or, you know, do something bad again or whatever. Uh, describe what a good friend means to you. I think a good friend is someone you can talk to just whenever about any subject. You know, like, a friend is someone that, you know, every time you talk to them, you know, you have good conversations, but they're usually, they're either, like, really bland or they're on really similar topics. <coughs> you know, like, if you both really like art and the only thing you talk about is art, that's a friend. But if you have a friend who really likes art, but you guys also talk about, like, pets and family, that's a good friend. That's, okay, yeah. I think a good friend is someone you can go over to their house and their parents know who you are. That's a good friend. Because I think it takes, you know, a good friend for you to talk to your parents about them. And obviously in a good way, that, you know, the, the parents recognize you in a good way. <laughs> Do you enjoy being out in nature? For the most part... Uh, if my allergies are acting up, hell no, that is like the worst place to be, but <sighs> normally, like, nature is so dang beautiful. Oh my gosh, so inspiring. Are you too shy to ask someone out? No, I'm not. Uh, are you an early riser? Yes, I am. Do you read newspapers? Not really, no. Have you ever been on the wrong side of the law? No, I have not. Do you have any close cousins? Does that mean I'm close to them or they live close? I don't, I'm not sure what this is going with. Um, uh, I, my, uh, my cousins that were the sons of my, my late uncle live like 15, 20 minutes away. Uh, so they're close in proximity. We're not really close. Like, we never talk. I, I talk with my grandma way more than I talk with them, so. Do you respect women? Yes, I do. Do you smoke or have you ever smoked? No to both. Have you ever been hit by a girl and a guy at the same party? I've never hit, I've never been hit by anybody at a party, so no. Uh, everybody worries about something. What do you worry about and why? I think I've already talked about stuff I worry about. I'm worried I won't be successful in accounting. I'm worried I won't be successful with my YouTube channel. I'm worried about Tessa. I'm worried about everything. Just worry, 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 worry. Just life. Have you ever requested a song on the radio? No, I have not. I'd rather just put in my, my own CD. Do you like to sing in the shower? 
No, I really don't. I do not sing in the shower. I lip sing in the shower, but I don't sing in the shower. <laughs> Can you cope with unexpected events? Generally, yeah. Do you believe in spanking? To an extent. Um, I think if you are going to punish someone, you have to do it immediately. Because if you wait, they won't know what they're being punished for. And I think that is just wrong. But... You know, if the if you're you know if you can't discipline your kid any other way, if nothing else works, yeah, I do believe in spanking. Do you prefer hot or cold drinks? Ooh, that's hard because like I love milk, but I love hot chocolate. Ooh, on average, I usually would rather have a cold drink. About how many pairs of jeans do you own? Uh, long jeans, I only have like maybe five or six. Capris, I have like twenty million. <laughs> okay, maybe not 20 million, but many more. Are you mad at anyone right now? No. Are you a beach, country, or city person? I'm going to go with country. Not really big on cities. Do you scream on roller coasters? Only for fun. Like, only to, like, mock other people that are really screaming. So, they don't, roller coasters don't scare me, even if they flip over. I think they're great. They're so much fun. Do you ever feel as though your partner... Your partners are too distant. I don't have a partner, so no. Have you watched Big Bang Theory? Yes, I have. That show is hilarious. I love it. Been in a band? No. Do you eat junk food every day? Yes, I do. I'm a horrible person, I know. And we're coming up to the end. I'm about to finish the second one. Woo! That's going to be the end of puzzles. I'm sad I only finished two, but I'll explain everything that happened in the narration so you'll already know by the time you see this, unless you skip ahead for some reason. I don't know. Maybe you just like to hear me talk. I have no idea. But, um, <laughs> I got, it took me six hours to do both of them, and I was distracted by, uh, Game of Thrones when I was first working on the first, when I was working on the first one, and then I was distracted by Supernatural working the rest of the first one and the second one. So <laughs> took me a little bit longer than if I had like listened to an audiobook. Um I do work tomorrow from nine to two, so I might just do more puzzles because that means I'm gonna leave the house around eight AM and then I'll get home around three and I'll have like two hours of daylight. And it's much easier to work on a puzzle in the dark than it is a cross stitch, so Sorry if you don't like the puzzles, but sorry, you know, you know, at least you're getting a video, okay? Um, it took me, I said six hours, right? I don't even remember what all I've said. Uh, it was a long day, and if you notice, I'm wearing a different shirt. That'll have been explained in the narration. So, <laughs> yeah. Subscribe, share, like, comment, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video.